Dobrodan, Dobrodoshri, members of the presidency, Mr. Foreign Minister, Madam Secretary, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank all of you so much for joining us here today to mark this very special occasion. This beautiful new embassy in Sarajevo is a monument to the nearly two decade commitment of the United States to the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina. About 450 US and Bosnian and Herzegovina embassy employees will work here, all of them dedicated to ensuring that the ties between our two countries remain as strong as they have been in the past and are indeed today. The building process was organized and facilitated by the State Department's Bureau of Overseas Buildings Operations, and we are privileged to have here today the acting director of that bureau, Mr. Adam Nam. Mr. Nam is a career member of the Senior Foreign Service. He directly oversees building operations in 265 posts around the world. He also fully understands how these buildings symbolize so much more than just bricks and mortar. We're delighted to have him join us today. Adam. Well, good afternoon, Madam Secretary, Ambassador Moon, Foreign Minister, members of the Presidency, distinguished guests. I could not be more pleased to be here to dedicate this wonderful new embassy compound. I greatly appreciate the vital support offered by the government of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the city and canton of Sarajevo, the municipalities of Novo Sarajevo and Centar, and all those who have helped make this day possible. The new embassy compound is an example of the spirit of the American people. The beautiful building we are in today is a fitting symbol of the United States of America's commitment to a permanent presence in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is a place where both our country's peoples can meet together and continue to forge partnerships, as well as being an improved platform for providing services to citizens of both Bosnia and Herzegovina and the United States. Hundreds of local construction workers were employed at this project, and we appear and we appreciate greatly their work. A large share of the $128 million spent on this new embassy compound went into the local economy. This new embassy also honors the United States' commitment to protecting the environment. Incorporated into its design are elements that merit leadership in energy and environmental design or LEED certification by the U.S. Green Building Council. The new chancery also incorporates a permanent collection of 63 original works of art by both American and local artists. I'd now like to recognize some of the people who made this project a success. First, I'd like to thank Ambassador Moon, Ambassador English before him, and their dedicated team here at the Embassy. We would not be here without the efforts of our Bureau of Overseas Buildings Operations team in Sarajevo. Project Director Mark Dyson, Construction Manager Owen Dunn, and Site Security Coordinator Kip Davis. They did an outstanding job bringing this project to completion. Finally, I'd like to recognize uh, our construction firm, Cadell Construction of Montgomery, Alabama. Cadell is represented today by Rod Caesar, Senior Vice President of International Operations. Again, it gives me great joy to help dedicate this beautiful new facility. Thanks and kudos to everyone who worked so hard to make this day a reality. And Mr. Ambassador, enjoy your new embassy. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Adam. Uh, to you and your whole OBO team for making this wonderful new building a reality for us. This dedication ceremony is a very exciting event for all of us in the U.S. Embassy community. And it is a very special honor to have America's top diplomat, Secretary Hillary Rodman Clinton, join us for this occasion. The Secretary's presence today at the new Embassy Building dedication underscores the commitment of the United States of America to seeing Bosnia and Herzegovina 
move forward as a sovereign state of two entities to become fully integrated in Euro-Atlantic institutions. Secretary Clinton has long been a friend to the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina in a variety of capacities, as a private citizen, as the First Lady, as a U.S. Senator, and today now as the Secretary of State. While her role has changed over, the, over this time, her belief that the people of this country deserve the brightest possible future has remained absolute. If anyone had doubts that the U.S. commitment to Bosnia and Herzegovina might be wavering, they should look at this new building that will house the U.S. Embassy, the eighth largest U.S. Embassy in Europe. Madam Secretary, thank you for joining us here today to dedicate this beautiful new building that symbolizes our strong, continued commitment to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Madam Secretary. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank you.